What's the worst thing that can happen to a football player? Missing an open goal? No. Scoring an own goal? Nah. Getting red carded? Mm -mm. Well, for me at least, the absolutely worst thing that could happen would be to get injured because then I can't play at all and that would suck. And because I'm also one of those players that in general uses a whole lot of gear when I play, today I'm going to give you some tips on some of the best gear you can get in order to prevent injuries or just in general, prevent getting hurt. Of course, there are a lot of different types of injuries, but the two main ones I'm looking at would be impact injuries, say you get a tackle resulting in you getting a cut or a bruise or you break something. And then on the other hand, you have muscle injuries. Now, of course, both of these types really suck because they can take you out of the game for a considerable amount of time. But also the way you protect yourself against these types of injuries are very, very different. So for impact injuries, you really want to deflect the incoming force and the power of the tackle away from your lower legs, your ankles and your shins. Because if the protection's not there, it's just hitting your bare leg and you're gonna break something eventually. So of course, shin pads are the way to go. And I know there's a lot of you out there who absolutely despise wearing shin pads, but if you want to protect yourself against injury, you just have to wear them and also you have to wear shin pads when you play a match. That's just the way it is. But the good thing is, even though you hate it, that you get a lot of options in today's game when it comes to shin pads. You can go for very light carbon fiber shin pads that are also super, super protective, which is typically the type I wear when I play. You can also go for the light guard shin pads, which you can actually mold and customize to the shape of your legs so they fit really, really well. Or if you're the type who hates the traditional feeling of a shin pad, you can go for the G-Foam Pluses, which is basically a compression sleeve with a little bit of foam on the front that then hardens up on impact when you get hit. And it just, it just feels like wearing a sleeve on your shin. But if you want to go the traditional way, you can also just go for the standard plastic shin, which does a decent job and is something that it's gonna be difficult to be really mad at. But I would say that if you are looking for a shin pad that will help you prevent injuries, you should go for something that you feel and trust will actually protect you. And with that in mind, maybe it's actually worth spending a little bit more on shin pads than you usually would. Especially because shin pads these days if you treat them well, they're gonna last you a long, long time. Hell, I've had some of mine for 10 years or more. So think about it. Now, back in the day, a lot of shin pads came with ankle guards. And these days, you can actually buy them separately. You know these little sleeves, basically the foot of the shin pad itself, that sit around the lower part of your leg, protecting your ankles with little foam pads and then these stronger pads also adding some protection for your ankle bones. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love them. See, the thing is that whenever I play, I always get all these little cuts on my ankle bones because I get caught by studs coming in from tackles and that really, really sucks. Which means that wearing a thin ankle sleeve like the Hyper Strongs here from Nike, that's an absolute must for me because they're thin, they're light, they're never really in the way. And also they give me enough protection to get me a little bit more confident when I'm on the pitch. In other words, they're not gonna give me tons of ankle support or make me absolutely invulnerable, but they remove a little bit of that hesitation that I will have going into tackles if I wasn't wearing them. Finally, if you hate having blue nails because some idiot stepped on you or it's cold outside or your boots just fit really, really bad, it might be an idea getting this padded foam select mercure tape that I have here. Because this is not just normal sports tape, instead it's actually a little bit padded. It's got some foam padding to it, meaning that it takes away a bit of the sting and the pressure and the impact you get if some jerk steps on your toes or you just have a lot of pressure around your big toes, for instance. And it's also really good for blister prevention if you don't have dedicated blister tape. And also on top of everything, it's really cheap. So why not get a roll next time you get a new pair of boots? That's what I do. 
Now, as I mentioned, the other side of the coin would be you getting a muscle injury. And that's something that no shin pad or ankle guard or foam tape or everything together can protect you against because it's basically an expression of you doing something that your muscles can't handle. And maybe it's just because I'm getting old and my muscles are generally really tired, but I never ever play a football match or a training without wearing my compression shorts. I really like these from Select and also the Adidas ones that I'm wearing are very, very good. But as science has shown us and tells us is that not only do compression shorts go in to prevent muscle fatigue, they also to some extent help you in preventing muscle strains and give you a little bit of groin support. So in other words, it's just really good for your legs. Are they going to prevent your legs falling off? Well, well, no, but they help. And another way of helping your legs and your muscles would be to use muscle ointment or just muscle gel or muscle cream if you want to call it that. And not only does it smell really nice of camphor and stuff, it's also really good for your muscles because it goes in, warms them up and makes them more flexible, preventing you getting a stupid injury because your muscles are stiff and cold. And yes, your teammates are gonna take the piss. When you sit there and you gently massage the muscle ointment into your thighs. But don't worry about it, because it's good for you. Just make sure you're not that guy who's just weird about it. Finally, I'm using a few accessories in order to keep my legs fresh. And the first thing is actually my girlfriend's foam roller, which is really nice to use after a hard day's training or a match to basically loosen up your muscles a little bit. And yes, it hurts a lot sometimes, but it also really gives your legs the feeling of being more fresh and less tight in the long run. So consider doing that. Another thing I really enjoy is to use these rubber resistance bands, basically to strengthen my legs and make them a little bit more flexible. And yes, it looks kind of stupid, but it also helps in strengthening my legs so they're more used to all those crazy unexpected movements that you might be able to do during a football match. And I'll admit it, I'm by no means a physiotherapist, so I basically don't know what I'm doing, but I can just see that for me and for my legs, this works. But on the other hand, if you're in doubt about what you should do or how to use these things, please consult an actual physiotherapist so you don't go out and actually injure yourself because you're doing it in the wrong way. So think about it and look into it. So there you have it, my friends. A lot of gear that you can use if you want to prevent getting injured or just prevent getting hurt in general if that's the sort of stuff you hate. And actually, you can buy most of the gear if you click the link to unisportstore.com right over there. Of course, also, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to the channel already yet with the notifications on, go join the best football family on YouTube, click that subscribe button, and you're not gonna regret it. And before you go, you can also go and learn some wicked football skills if you click the playlist right down there. With that said, guys, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.